guys. Alright guys, just heard the Adhan. Time to go pray in the mosque. Look at the beautiful Sarajevo. I'm gonna show you the mosque that I have near my house. As you can see, inshallah. Check it out. It's pretty incredible. Let's do it. Little kids going to mosque. People speaking Arabic and Bosnia. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. This is such a place that I'm 100% convinced that if I stay in Slovakia, I'm gonna come here more often. It's only eight hours by car. If you're from Bosnia or any other Muslim country by that matter, you don't know, you, you have no idea how lucky you are. You have really no clue how lucky you are. Imagine you have no mosque, no halal food, no nothing. Everybody thinks you're crazy. No Muslim friends. Nothing. You don't know how to pray. Sarajevo was a great city where different cultures meet. So we have west and east. And this part of Sarajevo looks like maybe a part of Bratislava or Prague, like a complete European city. But then you have like a mosque in between and majority is Muslim, subhanAllah and that's why I'm here because I'm a Muslim from Slovakia and I never get to see any Islamic heritage or culture in my country because we have none and for comfort it's really lonely and sad but when I see this, when I see women covered in hijab when I see everywhere halal food, halal meat and when I see it's European country, it's an entire country which has embraced this religion of Islam and they use Arabic language in combination with Bosnian to deliver it um, and I've been watching some of their TV shows it's pretty amazing during Ramadan you know uh, how they pray Tarawih, how they pray, how they fast um, you know it's amazing that a complete European country is doing this they speak very similar language to mine so if they speak I can pick up what they're saying uh, they look like me, it's mind-blowing never thought I'm gonna see a country like this we're in one of the largest mosques there's this ablution room for voodoo priest information, tourists coming in a giant, giant mosque in the middle of Sarajevo inshallah, people praying outside look at this voodoo spot here this is pretty cool women they have their own spot how great is that what a beautiful civilization wow, what, a, what, a, what a great city with a great architecture I can't like have enough this is the second time time i'm seeing a muslim cemetery and this is how i want to be buried naked in the grass no possessions nothing just when I same as I came here subhanallah but this hill is very difficult because I have a little secret to tell you I still have COVID or no I think I had COVID so I'm still kind of wobbly but subhanallah look at this view look at the city like it's kind of crazy so many mountains we're on top of Sarajevo got my bad breath after Covid but look at this this is insane inshallah look at the look at the craziness behind me the mountains half Muslim, half non ideal even saw some uh, Catholic nuns you have synagogue as well here 
look at this subhanallah pretty cool I've never seen some a city like this like in such a big altitude with so many mountains around it and you see the mosques popping out here and there subhanallah look at this You can see Tarawi is very short and there's more Raqqa Plus in between Tarawi In between they uh, sort of chant like La ilaha illallah Muhammad But just the Quran is very short So that's very short compared to what I'm used to. I'm just too tired. I gotta go home and get some sleep after two days. But this is the benefit of being a Slovak Muslim. It's like I don't have to take that historical, cultural context and that non-Sunnah whatever practice and just, you know, create our own thing. Fajr time. Look how many people shop. I understood a bit, but not everything that was being said. Work is crazy, I have too much stress. I just need to be detached from the dunya. I'm stressing too much over the dunya. Thank you. That's inside. Some pretty good stuff. What's up, guys? Inside, the hat. 
Iftar Sarajevo Sarajevo is a city surrounded by mountains, as you can see behind me. In the mosque, there is a huge mountain. People live up there, people live up there in their houses. You can see the mountains go all over Sarajevo. And it's, it creates this amazing atmosphere and lights and everything at night, so it's pretty incredible. And I would say maybe 60% of people here are Muslim, for sure. But they don't have Muslims, Christians or Jews can live in peace, easy. It's the nationalism that creates division and all this nonsense. And this sick pride of your nation or whatever race you belong to. Otherwise Christians, Muslims can live along, no problem. You have the mosque and you have next door there's a church ringing the bells. Muslim majority country, inshallah. But they, this is, it's not a problem. It's not a problem for anyone. No Muslim, hate, no one hates Muslims. Muslims don't hate Christians. Come to Sarajevo, it's amazing. Especially if you're a Muslim from a non, -Muslim, from a non-European country, you would be blown away. You're like what? And um, I've seen some Arabs or some Indians here who come for like halal travel, I guess. And if you are a European non-Muslim, come as well. You see the Muslims here live like Europeans, like chilled. And uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Yeah, how do we now spread the message of Islam to Europe? We need to make smart dawah. That's my whole life. It's gonna be about this probably. 